of a 19-year-old Niall Mason's dream came true. He signed his first Premier League contract for Aston Villa. However, his footballing journey began 12 years ago, after his father Russell enrolled him in a summer training camp in Spain. And then there happened to be scouts there, and then I remember when I got back to England, about four days after, I just remember coming home from, I think I was just playing out football with my friends or something, my dad just told me, so he said, Real Madrid just rang me, and he said, um, they want to take you back for a week on trial. So then I, I went back again with, with my dad, and we stayed in the hotel and stuff, and then after that week I said, we really like you, and then obviously my dad was thinking, God, if they want to sign you, you're gonna, you can't go on your own, can you? you Niall joined Real Madrid's famous Cantara Academy. Mason, the only British student, was handpicked to train with youth football's elite. He was quickly branded the next David Beckham. However, for Russell, business opportunities took him to Qatar. Niall would remain at the academy in Madrid. Eventually I had to come for, to work in Qatar for economic reasons, you know, um, to put food on the table for the family. But I remember uh, Niall calling me from Spain and he was with his landlady and he said dad we're playing Barcelona next week and I'd only just come back and I had no money and uh, anyway the only asset I had was my car so I sold it and uh, went back and I, I saw him. How did you do against Barca? Good. <laughs> was it worth selling the car? It's always worth it. Always worth watching your kid. Mason moved to Qatar where he played for Al Sadd Juniors and also honed his skills at the Doha based Evolution Soccer Academy soon after. Evo Soccer, he was at 11 playing in, in, with 16 year olds and uh, I can show you some pictures later on. But um, So that was a challenge, even at Aspire that was the same, even at Al Sadd that was the same. He was playing a lot of ages older, which is always a worry because you might be talented enough to play against 16 year olds, but physically you could get hurt and that worried me. Al Sadd was, was really good for me back then, obviously I got to train three, four times a week. I remember uh, my dad telling me there was a new, a new football academy opened up for expats and um, called it Evolution Soccer and that was great for me. It was just expat kids and stuff and they've done a really good job there. Like obviously for, for all nationalities play football so you get all different types of nationalities playing football which was a great experience for me. When he became 13 or nearly, he said, Dad, if I don't go back to England now, um, I'm, I'm never going to make it in the Premier League or any league um, in Europe, which I really want to, that's my ambition. Age 13, Niall left Qatar to continue his football education back home in England. He went from Blackburn Rovers youth programme to arguably the country's most successful academy, Southampton. After two years being at the Saints, Niall made the brave decision to leave the South Coast in search of a club where he could play in his preferred right back position. Then he's backed himself um, to move on from Southampton, a fantastic academy, great football club. Um, Great teammates, a big, big, brave decision for an 18-year-old lad to go and sit in a hotel in Birmingham and, and go through it all again, proving himself. Um, and I, I take my hat off to, to him for that. Big, could have gone horribly wrong for him. So uh, you, have to, you have to love your kids and you have to support them, not put them under pressure, not criticise them. Um, try, and, try and guide them, but uh, you know, don't put them under pressure trained as hard as I could and worked as hard as I could to play at the highest level because obviously Premier League or any league in the world that's at the top you want to play in that league don't you so that's what I would like to say that I've played 400 500 games in the top league 